The announcement at a Nairobi stadium packed with political bigwigs and thousands of supporters followed speculation that the 76-year-old, who was the face of Kenya's opposition for decades, had struck a power-sharing deal with Kenyatta to secure his backing for the top job. Odinga declared to loud cheers that he accepted to present himself as a presidential candidate for the presidential elections of the 9th August 2022, adding that he was committed to building a democratic and progressive Kenya in their lifetime. A mainstay of Kenyan politics, the former prime minister, fondly referred to as Baba Daddy in Kiswahili, remains hugely popular despite losing four shots at the presidency in 1997 2007, 2013, and 2017. But his fiery anti-establishment image took a knock in March 2018 when he stunned the country by clapsing hands with Kenyatta just months after deadly post-election clashes. The truce, known universally as the handshake, sparked speculation that two men had made a pact that would see Odinga succeed Kenyatta, a two-term president who cannot run a third time. The two leaders also sought to expand the executive through proposed constitutional changes that would have potentially allowed Kenyatta to stay in power as a prime minister. But despite Kenya's top court ruling against the proposed amendments in August, the unexpected alliance has preserved with Odinga attending official government functions with Kenyatta.